Hey guys, hope you're having an amazing day today. So today I wanted to talk about some takeaways from the Tesla battery day and how it has a 54% increase in range, not 16% like you're seeing in a lot of places, 54%. Now before I begin, please hit that like and subscribe subscribe button, it's going to really help grow my channel. Now what Tesla basically figured out was a solution to make a more powerful battery in a more efficient way. Uh, what they basically did was that they analyzed step by step the process of how batteries are created, how they're distributed and how they recycle as well. And they were able to come up with a battery design and material combination that gave the batteries a tremendous boost. And when you include the vehicle integration efficiency as well, you get a 54% increase uh, for Tesla vehicles in, in range. 54% increase in range for Tesla vehicle. I know I'm repeating it like a thousand times, but uh, I have to say it because I'm seeing a lot of articles and I don't know if they're doing this to be dishonest or maybe they didn't see the entire uh, presentation but they described very clearly that it was 54% as you can see over here in the Tesla uh, what would you call it the Tesla video you see right here it says range increase Cell design, 16%, which is true. Anode material, 20%. Cat cathode material, 4%. And then cell vehicle integration, 14%. And then when you include all of this together, you get a 54% increase in range, which is very important. And you can see what these articles here say. The Birch, uh, sorry, this one is CNET right here. They say Tesla battery, they recap, and they talk a little more news about it. But they say Tesla said his new cell design should give his vehicle 16% increase in range, thanks to 5% increase in energy. And yes, it has a new cell design that gives it 16% increase in range. But you have to combine everything together, not just that. So. I feel like they're being a little uh, dishonest or not giving you all the information you need. And also an article here from The Birch, as you can see here, it says the same thing. Uh, Tesla is calling the new batteries 4680, uh, will make his battery six times more powerful and increase range by 16%. Again, the same thing, it's, it's more than 16%, it's 54% when you include everything that Tesla is doing now also um, I wanted to talk about uh, you know how would this impact the Model S the Model 3 if you include 54% of a range increase right right now the Model S has uh, a range of 402 miles per charge 402 miles per charge, which is pretty good, pretty decent. When you consider that gas cars have a median uh, range of 412 miles per tank, per gas tank. So if you include that 54% to 402 miles, you get 620 miles. 620 miles per charge. That is amazing way more than gas cars and not only that like i said before tesla is also reducing uh, their costs right when uh, this, when developing these batteries so and they reduced it by uh, more than 50 percent so that means batteries are going to cost 50 percent less and give you 54 percent uh, not only the batteries, but everything together is going to give you a 54% increase in range. So that's amazing. So what does this mean for the Model 3? Well, the Model 3 has a range, if you look at the Tesla site, of 322 miles per charge. If you get the long range Model 3. 
and if you include that boost of 54 percent it's going to give you an increase of 173 miles so if you include that together 322 plus 173 it's going to give you basically about a 500 mile car and that's a model 3 500 mile still better than a 412 miles per tank gas car right so uh, those are some of the takeaways from the Tesla presentation. Another thing they talked about is of a $25,000 car coming in about three years or so. And the reason is obvious, you know, they got all of these cuts in expenses because of the way that they developed the new batteries and uh, the way they're doing things now. So they could afford to make a car this cheap. And this is something that's amazing because a lot of people want a Tesla. And the reason they haven't bought one yet is because of the cost, right? Not everybody could just go out and spend $35,000, $37,000 on a car. But a $25,000 car is more affordable. And you're going to have a full electric car. And you could maybe, you could get it with uh, for uh, fully autonomous as well. Uh, Elon Musk talked about it. Of course, it's going to cost you a little more. It might be like eight thousand, ten thousand dollars. But fully autonomous car, fully electric, with amazing range for thirty-five thousand dollars. That's pretty good. If you don't want uh, the autonomy part, take it out. Twenty-five thousand dollar car, you still have a great car, fully electric. That is amazing. All right, so that is it for me today. Hope you guys have a great day. And if I'm wrong about the range increase and it's only 16%, uh, let me know what I miss. Uh, let me know what you think as well. Do you think this is great for the future? Uh, uh, I personally think that ICE cars are dead. I mean, they had so many years to develop a, night, a good electric car that looks good and has a good decent range that could compete with the Tesla, but they didn't do anything. They just sat around doing absolutely nothing and now they're suffering. They have three years to come up with something. I mean, if they could at least catch up with technology Tesla has now uh, in three years, then that's a good progress. But man, they are, I think they're dead already. It's, it's a little too late for them. 2015 should have been the year they said, okay, you know what? Let's start making electric cars because this is going to be the future. But they didn't. Started making it, what, 2019 or so? They started taking it seriously. In three years, Tesla's going to have a car that's 54% uh, better because you're right. You're going to have the 54% range increase. And it's just going to be a. It's going to be difficult for them to catch up to Tesla now. Very difficult. And what does this mean for the batteries, right? A Tesla battery right now, I was reading this article that said, and it comes from the web, the Tesla forum site. They were talking about how much is a battery pack for a car. And the gentleman said that if you want a 70 kilowatt hour battery, it's going to be about $7,000. If you want 75,000, uh, 75 kilowatt hour is going to be 75,000. Sorry, 7,500. 7, um, so think about it. If you want a 100 kilowatt hour battery, it's going to be 10,000. You cut that in half because of all the cost saving Tesla has done and the new way of uh, repro uh, producing these batteries and the other things. Then, wow, it's a $5,000 battery. That's way better than the previous generations. And yeah, how are ICE cars going to catch up? I have no idea, but. They better start working on this quickly. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe, and stay safe out there. Peace.